I built a seven figure digital marketing agency from complete scratch to prove it is not luck. And no, I was not the smartest kid in the classroom growing up. At best, I was a 2.0 C student all the way from middle school, all the way to college. No, I did not come from extreme amounts of wealth and I definitely did not get lucky. But one thing for sure is I was willing to do whatever it took to quit my job and replace my income as an employee so that I could be self-employed. I was willing to learn from people who were ahead of me that had proven track records of doing what I wanted to accomplish. And yes, I made a ton of mistakes along the way, but in this video, I'm going to show you how you can learn from those. So here's how I did it. So after graduating from Arizona State with an economics and business degree with a 2.1, I had zero opportunities, no companies wanted to hire me. So my only option was internally, I really wanted to be entrepreneurial and I loved fitness and I loved nutrition and just being healthy. And so there was this restaurant in Scottsdale who did very, very well. There was a line out the door every single day. So my goal was, hey, I have no opportunities. I'm going to work here and literally learn this business from the ground up so that one day I can start my own back home in San Diego, California. After a year and a half of being in the restaurant, I moved up from the bottom ranks all the way to assistant general manager, making $45,000 per year in salary. But one thing I realized was the amount of work and chaos and bullshit that you need to do to make such little money and profit was just not worth it. At the end of the day, when I saw the profit numbers, I knew that this was not going to be the business that I'm going to start to get the freedom I want to drive the cars that I want, to be able to travel like I want, and really just to live life on my own terms. As time went on, I just kept showing up to work, showing up to work, knowing that this wasn't going to be it. And it started to be very painful. It started to become a painful experience because one, I was getting older. I was 24. I really didn't have too many skill sets. I had no idea what I was going to do. And the most painful part was I had friends coming in the restaurant from the gyms and just from my circles who were all starting to make money and growing in their professions and driving the cars and living in nicer apartments where I was barely getting by in my $600 a month apartment. I was driving a 1991 Toyota Tacoma and I just knew that like something had to change. One day I get hit with a Ty Lopez ad, how to start a social media marketing agency. And he was basically saying you could get 10 clients paying you $1,000 a month and make $10,000 per month. I went home, I researched it, I studied it and I bought that course. And that was one of the best decisions I've ever made. So the course was about eight weeks long. I went through the entire course within two weeks. That's how motivated I was to learn everything I could learn so that I could start taking action so that I could quit my job and start living life on my own terms. However, things were way harder than what they seemed to be. I was all the way into month seven of prospecting, sending emails, sending cold video pitches, doing all this work before I got my first client. And that first client was for free. Right around month six of trying to figure everything out, prospecting everyone. I was prospecting dentists, real estate, all types of businesses. It was just crazy. I was all over the place with no direction. I ended up injuring my neck in the gym, doing front squats. And so the next day I could barely get out of bed. I had to roll out of bed because the pain was that bad. I wasn't even sure if I needed surgery. So what did I do? I went to the nearest chiropractor to my house. I go there and within two days, he takes me from a nine out of 10 pain to completely pain-free back in work, back in the gym. And I was honestly amazed. On my last visit there, I asked him who is doing your marketing. He said nobody. And he was interested in what I could do for him. So we go to Starbucks, we talk about it and we decide, Hey, I'm going to do the first month for free. He's going to give me a $500 ad budget and let's see what happens. Long story short, he spent $500. I completely burned it. We got four leads, no one in the door, and it was a complete waste of money and time for him. Now that was a very painful experience for me because I realized I basically did everything the course told me to do and it didn't work, which was a huge eye opener and very, very tough on me because I'm seven months in working the jobs and then on my off time prospecting, doing everything I can to get my first client. Once I get my first client, it's still not working. So that was a really big, big mental obstacle that I had to get past. So after he canceled, I really had to sit down and just think about what I was going to do. It was tough for me because now I didn't understand how to get clients. And then once I got my first opportunity, I did so bad. So it was a tough time where I, I could either one quit or two, I could keep prospecting, keep doing all the work, the cold emails, the cold pitches, the cold calls. And on my next client, I might just be able to figure it out. And that's what I did. I kept prospecting. I kept prospecting by the grace of 
the upper powers within one month i got my first client through cold email for 750 dollars which was another chiropractor the feeling of this chiropractor literally writing out a check to me me going to the bank and depositing it was one of the best feelings ever because this is when i finally realized that i was in business and i got my first client my first paying client now a lot of people ask me how did you keep going after you failed your first client that you did for free and that took you six months to even get that first client and what i answer is my pain of going to work every day waking up at six opening up the restaurant going through those day-to-day -day motions and realizing that my life was going to be miserable if i didn't do anything was so painful that the pain of me failing my first client and prospecting every day after work and doing all that work and frustration that pain was nowhere near the amount of pain of me continuing to go into that restaurant and work and do the day-to-day -day motions and that's what kept me to saying nope i failed this first client but i know there's a way i can figure it out and i'm going to figure it out so i get my first real paying client 750 dollars per month and that was just half the battle now i realized how am i gonna actually get results this time so i knew that i could not mess this one up he's paying me this is my second second opportunity to make my agency go from zero to one and I need to figure it out. And so what did I do? I found someone who was really good at running ads and he had some chiropractic clients. And so I asked him, how much do I have to pay you to show me how to get results for this client? He said $400. I had 750. I said, hey, let's do it. This is my only shot at really getting this client results because I obviously don't know how to do it. And what ended up happening was we strategized the ads, we set it forward. And then the first month we got incredible results we had like 13 people walk through the doors he closed like five to six care plans made like 12 to thirteen thousand dollars in month one and this was a huge eye-opening experience where i was like oh my gosh like this actually works if you do the right ads and you have the right strategy it actually works and this is a real thing and so that's when i realized it's game over i'm about to learn everything about marketing everything about the chiropractic industry i'm just going to be the best i possibly can because if i can get results for this client then i can get 10 more clients and finally achieve ten thousand dollars a month in my agency so here i am going from failed agency owner never getting it off the ground to now not only having my first client but now my first paying client is thrilled making a lot of money and profit from my service and it's like this aha moment where i'm talking to him learning so much about his business we're building a great relationship and he liked how motivated i was to help him and his business that he said hey you know what i'm gonna refer you to my colleagues who we've all tried these marketing companies and the, t t the results were terrible but what you're doing is actually working so i'm gonna get them to contact you and sign up with you because i like the results and i like how driven you are at doing this for our office and i really really admire that so he sent us two referrals now i have three clients out of just thin air it's absolutely amazing so now i have three paying clients and i basically run the same exact system for the other two clients and what do you know we start getting leads we start getting results and now it becomes this thing where i'm starting to really figure out my system and how to deliver results and i also am building great relationships with these clients one of the clients ended up referring me to their crm company which basically worked with hundreds of Cairo offices and different health type of clients and he said hey everyone you've sent us to use for Facebook ads has been terrible but we found this kid and you guys need to talk to him because he's actually getting us results and so I end up meeting face to face with the CEO of a CRM company with hundreds of clients we go get breakfast they think I'm some crazy marketer with tons of experience although I've literally worked with one client for a month and two others for going on three weeks and he says hey what can we do to partner with you so we can refer your skill set and your services to all of our clients and basically we can create some sort of deal and so what we decided was we go 50 50 on the profits on the revenues and that's exactly what we did it ended up sending us 20 additional clients over the next six months which was absolutely crazy for my growth i was able to replace my job income get out of my job and go full focus on the agency now a big lesson that you guys can take away from this is one what would have happened if i would have quit 
quit in month four, five, and six? Or what would have happened if I quit after I completely bombed the first client that gave me $500 in ad spend? I would not have achieved and got to this next level of opportunity if I quit. Now, another takeaway is once I got the second client who actually paid me, I was willing to find whoever I could and pay them whatever money they wanted that I could actually afford to teach me how to get results because I obviously didn't know how to do it and I could not afford another complete failure. So I invested in help. I found the best people that I could possibly think could get results ended up becoming a huge success. Another takeaway is once I got my first client, I was so obsessed with the relationship and communicating with them and knowing everything about the marketing campaign and the results and the revenue and how things were going that they knew I was super, super motivated at helping them, which their experience working with me was very good because they knew their money was very well spent because I was behind the scenes doing everything I could to make sure everything would go right month after month. So here I am, I have 20 active playing clients. I'm 25 years old. I'm 100% self-employed. I'm stacking my bank account with cash and I'm obsessed with client results and client relationships because I know that is what has got me to where I'm at now. I have good client retention. I'm getting good results. I have great relationships with my clients. And the more I focus on exactly that, the more I'm going to grow. But what ended up happening was I ended up running out of time. There was not enough time in the day for me to talk to all the clients, do all the ads, do all the sales calls, do all the prospecting, learn about marketing. So what did I do? I hired my first employee at $20,000 per month, a great friend of mine who was very smart, who I knew I could teach him how to run ads and that we could eventually be a really strong duo in making the product better. Fast forward to today, I ended up hiring an account manager at $50,000 per month. We ended up building a complete scheduling team for our clients to handle all the leads and do all the appointment setting. We hired more account managers. I did all the sales for the company upwards of $400,000 per month and our main driver in revenue and growth all the way to $400,000 per month was referrals. And that was based on the fact that we were so focused on getting client results and making sure that we were the best in the industry at getting client results and driving the best customer experience. Now we run ads to get new clients. We have an outbound team where we cold call clinics across the United States to book more demos and we still get referrals to this day every single month, which is absolutely awesome. And an awesome award which you see here behind me that was a huge goal of mine was we made the Inc. 5000 for the fastest growing companies in America. And we were number 380 out of 5,000. We got to take our team to the event. We got our awards, we got our recognition. And it's just crazy to know that me starting off, not knowing anything, struggling to get a client at month six, failing it, then getting my next client at month seven, finally figuring it out, focusing on product and learning just how to get good results, hiring employees, and we finally get this massive achievement of one of the fastest growing companies in America. Me working from the restaurant, cooking in the kitchen, doing really simple labor work to now becoming a CEO of an agency with over 30 employees. And that's growing year over year at a fast rate. One piece of advice that I would love to give 24 year old Steven still working in the restaurant is that when you pick a proven business model, it is going to be very hard and the market is going to test how bad you want to go from employee to successful business owner so that you can live life on your own terms. And the number one thing you need to focus on is getting your clients results, getting your customers results by building a good product and just never quitting because you never know when that one client is going to be the client that changes your entire life where you end up getting a lot more clients and you end up living the life that you want to live. Be sure to subscribe and check out this video right here. Thank you.